George Wallace, who said segregation now, segregation tomorrow, segregation forever, thought that he would be on the right side of history. I'm sure Orville Fabus, who uh, refused to let the Little Rock Nine into their school, thought that he would be on the right side of history. I'm sure Hillary Clinton, who called black and brown youth super predators, um, said that, thought that she would be on the right side of history. I'm sure goddamn Donald Trump think that he gonna be on the right side of history. And I guarantee you they are not, and neither will you, because when Freedom Inc. writes our movement history, we will make sure all of your names are listed as people who supported police harming black and brown youth. And that is how history will remember you. And I hope that none of y'all uh, decide to run for office again, because I guarantee you 95% of this room ain't gonna vote for you. Um, again, what side of history do you want to be on? Do you want to be on the side of morality and justice or white supremacy? Right now, you, you're looking towards the side of white supremacy, so keep that up if you want to, because we got something for you. And I don't want to hear nothing about strategic frameworks of black excellence. Strategically figure out how to take the police out of schools. Strategically figure out how to invest money into these kids instead of investing it into the police. And strategically figure out how to shift power to the people who are impacted by police violence. Figure that shit out and then we can have a conversation. Oh, I got time left. All right. No cops! No cops! No cops!